At this time, please make sure that you have the disappearance of bees open so that you can read along with me. So again, if you don't have this open, you need to pause the video. Once you have this text, we can resume with the reading. The Disappearance of Bees. Take a walk outside in nature, and it may not be long before you see bees buzzing around a flower. This is a sight that most people are used to seeing, but lately there has been concern for bees. People are worried because the number of bees has been decreasing, and no one is sure why. So this introductory paragraph, it tells us that normally you can probably go out at this time of year and see bees buzzing around flowers, but there's a concern. A concern is like a worry. So it's something that's not really good. You're not sure about something. It seems that the number of bees has been decreasing. If it's decreasing, that means it's a lower number of bees. This makes sense because look at the title, The Disappearance of Bees. If there is a disappearance, that means you do not see anything anymore. So I see the root word appear, that means to be there like in front of you, like you can see it. Disappearance means not appear, something that you do not see. So it seems like bees are something that you're not seeing as much of. Studies have shown that bee colonies in the United States are vanishing. They're vanishing. That means to disappear, to go away. This part of the article, we're trying to understand and think about why are the
So that would harm them. Plant things that you know bees will like. You will be happy you did. We're going to answer two questions today about this article. On this page, it talks about pollen. Can you box or highlight the word pollen? At the bottom of this page in this section, it talks about nectar. Can you highlight or draw a box around the word nectar? You are going to be comparing and contrasting how the bees use nectar or pollen. You're going to be doing that in your reflections today and the questions about this text. This text is also expository. had a heading. This heading tells me what this part of the text is about. I also see that it has a map. This map looks very familiar to me, but I don't know if it would to you. It depends. Okay, if I don't know what this map is, I can read the caption. This is the caption. The caption tells me more information. The map shows states affected by CCD, so that's the colony collapse disorder. That's the problem where the bees are dying out. As reported in 2010 by the Congressional Research Service, the problem continues to worsen, so it's getting bad. All right, so this is actually the United States of America. So this is just in the United States, the problem that's happening here with the bees. Okay, um, I see the map is two different colors. There's white, so some parts of the United States are white, some parts are gray. What does the gray mean? The, oh, it has here a legend, it says states affected by colony collapse disorder. So these are all the parts of America, of the United States, that are having a problem with a lot of bees dying out and not being as many, which is a problem. So this is actually a lot of the United States. I actually see um, my parents' state here, North Carolina, that's a problem here. So the color coded helps me to know like how I can read this map. Um, so basically, this map is showing like it's a problem, a really big problem in America. At this time, the video is going to pause. You can go ahead and answer the questions. Please be sure to use the text to help you in your responses.